In this video, we're gonna attempt to make our very own Ninjago knockoff. Baba boy. <laughs> so the goal is to recreate every ninja, but without using any Ninjago parts, even if most of my minifigs come from Ninjago sets. Let's start the challenge. We're gonna start with Zane, the titanium robot, the ice ninja. Ice is nice! And the intelligent one. I'm the intelligent one! The first time we saw Zane, he was fighting Kai with this black ninja suit. <laughs> But there was also this other time when he was chopping wood looking like an NPC wearing this outfit. So let's recreate it. Let's take white legs, a torso that is also mainly white, and remove the prints with an eraser. Wow. Now we're getting there. Now I'm gonna remove the yellow hands and give him black ones. For the face, I feel like this one would work best, even if it looks like a default one. But I think it captures Zane's personality perfectly. Yes, it was a joke. Ha ha. And also he didn't have blue eyes back then. So this one's good. Then got that Terminator hair, except he was blonde in the first season. Then he had titanium hair, then white and metallic, and then blonde again. Honestly, this haircut in blonde looks fresh. But I don't think Lego made it in this color yet. So I'll use this gray one from this avatar set. Okay. He kind of looks like Zane now. How would you like to cry solid material? Yeah, he was pretty scary in the movie. For the second outfit, I want to make the one from this scene. I'm going to use one of the minifigs I built in the Lego store and these tan legs. The boy looks drippy now, <laughs> yeah, but he has a gray sweater, so let me fix that. He also got a nice popsicle. Now I'm going to make a stop motion to recreate the scene where he meets Pixel. You are Zane, a droid like me. What does Zane stand for? I don't know. Next is Master Lloyd, because he has students now. I'm gonna use this minifig to make Lloyd, without any Ninjago parts. But the pants are already from this set, so let's change them with these. Now let's replace the head with this one, that looks a bit like Mini Lloyd. Since he's blonde and the son of the villain, we need to find a blonde hairpiece, just like Luke's minifig. Uh, let's use the most recent piece, because this one looks super goofy. It looks like his outfit when he was cleaning the windows in Crystallized, but he hasn't stopped working out. Come on, buddy, you gotta snap out of it. Yeah, whatever happened to Ninja Never? Don't uh -huh. say it. Just don't. I don't want to hear that. He also had a green cap, but the one I have is blue. Now let's give him some tools so he can clean the windows. What about my sister? <gasps> Was she even a girl? Is she hot? She really needs. <laughs> We're gonna give him an electrifying suit. Spoilers for the new season, Jay appears as Agent Walker. Before he came out, I built this guy in the Lego store that really resembled this character. I'll have to change the legs with plain black ones, the gray hands with yellow ones, and for the face. He has this nervous looking headpiece, because Jay is always like that. <laughs> also I got this hairpiece from the Speed Champion set. It's just like Jay's old hair, but technically this didn't come out of a Ninjago set, so... I think the headpiece I used for Zane can also go with Jay. I got him a second outfit. Wow. Let's give him a controller, just like in this scene. Now, excuse me, I've got a video ga- Uh, some paperwork to file. Psych! <laughs> yeah, boy. Tell me why, I never wanna hear you here. Now we get to Nia. She had suits in red and blue. <laughs> now it's mostly blue. So we're gonna use these two colors. So I'm gonna take these light blue pants that even have sneakers. Then I got this red torso with the Ferrari logo on it. And we get two options for the face. There's one with a blue line printed on it. And there's this one. I'm gonna choose the first one. Because when you put Nia's real hair pieces, it looks exactly like her. Speaking about the hair, just like Kai, you don't find Nia's hair piece in every set. And I didn't find one that looks like it. So since it's getting a little bit cold, I'm gonna give her a beanie. That I took from this minifigure. I can make a second outfit with these light blue pants and jacket. And even if she doesn't really look like Nia, well, she got the red and blue colors of her suit and she can still master water. Ah! 
Next is a brother, Kai, the best ninja. Excuse me, bro. You're excused. And I'm not your bra. I'm taking these red and black legs with the torso of this Minecraft minifigure. Ah. But I'm gonna change the arms with the yellow ones. Now for the face. I got this one with the microphone. That actually looks a bit like Kai from the first season. But let's remove the mic with an eraser. Yeah, it really looks like OG Kai. And for the hair, it's kind of tricky. Because his haircut is unique. So I'm gonna give him this one. Looks kind of goofy. I'm gonna recreate this casual outfit. With a red cap, Lego man's torso, and some brown pants. Actually, let's change the torso with this. Yeah, way better. Kai is also a blacksmith. So I'm gonna give him this red pants, this apron, even if it's from a coffee shop. Now he needs a hammer to forge that sword, but he wasn't that good at first. Presto! Bruh! So let me do this. And now we got Blacksmith Kai. It's way better with his real hair. <laughs> Finally we got Cole. I bought this leg piece. And since he's black... Wait a minute. I'm still black. And orange. This one is perfect for him. A plain black torso would be kind of boring. So I took this guy's orange arm to give it to Cole. So it looks a bit like the previous suit. I'm gonna take this headpiece because it looks like a Sigma male. And it has bigger eyebrows than the others. Just like Cole. Now for the hairpiece. I'm gonna use the one that I got from this 3-in-1 creator set. With a snowy environment and this snowman. So it's just like Cole's original hairpiece. But technically, it's not from a Ninjago set. I'm gonna make another outfit. The one from season 4, when Lloyd is trying to reunite the ninjas. He's got black pants, a sleeveless jacket, so I'm gonna take yellow arms, some gloves, and a brown beanie. So now he looks like a lumberjack. I wanted to chill. And now I've finished the challenge, because I haven't used a single Ninjago part to build them. But they're almost all in casual suits. They don't even look like ninjas anymore, they're like regular people. So here's the difference between the real ones and the knockoff version. So do you think they look accurate or goofy? My favorite is definitely Zane with his sweater. What about you? Thank you for watching, see you in the next video. Peace!